job. Releasing in a few months. So that's why she was so the excited. The team has been really excited about the idea of adding a new biome. And we created one with its own unique mood and identity. A new biome? That does not... It looks the same as most biomes. Just a... During daytime, it's quiet. Like, almost serene in the new pale garden. Alright, oh, it's gotta be a catch. Looks like a swamp. While you might feel calm walking around in this forest, there's also an eerie mood. Something isn't quite right. Then, when darkness falls, you indeed feel another side of this place. Like the hanging moss shifts from being pretty to really spooky, and you realize that you're not alone. There's something lurking in the shadows. Ah, oh, so that's what they were talking about, the village of news. So everything about this biome feels unfamiliar, and this is by design. We want you to feel a bit curious and, and scared, like, what is this place? Why is it so different from everything else? What we needed for the biome is to have, like, a low visibility, and we've created the pale hanging moss for this. This really inhibits, like, how much you can see and how far you can see, but you can still walk through it. So you're traversing through the through the forest and you're like trying to find everything, but you don't know what will be behind the hanging moss. Yeah, it's it gives you kind of a strange feeling when you enter. It's unnaturally quiet and uh, a feeling of something weird is going on here. I really like the ambiance of the new biome. It invokes really those eerie and spooky feelings. Yes, eerie indeed. And turns out there actually is something lurking in the shadows. Of course there is. The creaking. The creaking? What is it? What the hell is that? It's our first tree-like creature, and it's almost like it's camouflaging in the pale garden. And when it's dark at night, it's kind of hard to see it except those like elusive eyes. Yeah, and it also interacts with those trees, which is super fun. <laughs> There's a special new block that it has a connection to. When you approach the creaking, you can actually realize that it doesn't take any damage, and when you try to hit it, it points you somewhere in the canopies. That's where basically the creaking heart is, and that's what controls the mob. One of the main themes of the Pale Garden and it, its inhabitants is that it's, there's a lot of contrast from the rest of the world. So when we made the creaking, we also wanted it to be feel unfamiliar and different from other mobs, which is why we made it more asymmetric to really go on this point of like being different from everything else. The creaking doesn't exist on its own. It's more of like a puppet of the new block, the creaking heart. So the creaking heart and its creaking puppet uh, really comes with a new combat uh, challenge or combat mechanic, uh, both in the way that you need to destroy the heart block to actually kill the creaking, and also, of course, that the creaking only moves when you look away. So don't blink. I really like the sandboxiness of the creaking heart. So if I use Silk Touch, you obtain it, and then you can place it anywhere you want in the Minecraft world. So if you want to be as evil as the creaking heart itself, you can place it and make your friends really terrified. To embrace the quietness of Minecraft, we added ambient sounds for this biome that only plays during the night. That comes from the blocks that surrounds you. Um, that will make an even more creepier experience for the player. And to do that... Oh no, it sounds more like a Command the Conquer sound. The silence ...and the contrast of the silence and the sounds. So, to make creaking, I gathered a lot of creaky stuff that will make creaky sounds. Obviously, the biggest thing would be to gather <laughs> wood and twigs and stuff like that, dead leaves to get rustling and creaking. But I also recorded salty sticks, the Swedish snack. I think it's Swedish. And one of the biggest part actually of the sound is my table creaking, dragging against the floor and also a chair. Why well, you gotta get the sound from somewhere. I also recorded 
teeth. It sounds a bit like bones, uh, maybe, uh, when when the mob is walking. So it's a what do, what do you mean by teeth? but yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So we wanted to make the, the biome very grey to give this very eerie feeling, right? Um, and with these grey tones, a very fitting new wood set was going to be a white colored wood set. And this is something that players have wanted for a long time. Yeah, I'm super excited for the pale oak wood set, especially that in a lot of places people paint their fences white, for, for example, for a white picket fence. Ooh, that looks nice! That will be exciting for a lot of players to actually represent themselves. And then we also have like the hanging moss, uh, and you can bone wheel it, so it's renewable. And so I think like just bringing it as well and maybe put it in a greenhouse where things hang from, from the roof, or like a wild garden, something, something like that will be really fun to build with it, I think. Yeah, and it's also a really unique carpet moss because it also spreads all over the sides of the blocks. So, and that also looks really great. We look for a lot of inspiration. So we've looked at all these kind of different forests all over the world. A tree that stood out was like the, the willow tree, like, cause it's very hanging. There's a lot of like drapery and it feels uh, very eerie. Then we looked at like Spanish moss. This was like the inspiration for the uh, pale hanging moss that we've used in the biome eventually. Because this gives this like drapey feeling without being willow trees. And it was a little bit more versatile and flexible to use in the biome. And could also be used as like building blocks. Hmm. Definitely be nice to do that a shot, guys. We are super excited to see what you do with these new features and the new game drop. We want to create connections between features because the Minecraft world is an ecosystem and we really want it to feel like that. And the Kriegen Heart and its puppet creaking, it really has a new way of creating this kind of connection. So it's going to be really fun to see you all experiencing it. And uh, it's actually coming to Snapshots, Previews and Betas very